What is going on everybody? My name is Jordan and welcome to another video. I am so happy to be here with you guys today and I have something I think you guys are really going to like. This is something I don't know if I've heard people say mixed things about what I'm about to do and uh, <clears throat> personally I, I'm waiting for Black Friday to be able to buy um, all my plugins and everything, all the ones that I want to get. Two of them that I've been wanting to get is Steven Slate Drums and Steven Slate Trigger. Um, a lot of people can't afford to get both, even though they're incredibly priced and they're both really, really great. Uh, but I'm primarily, I mean, I have a, you can see in the back, I have a real kit. Um, but I do like doing automated sample replacement. So I was sort of conflicted as to whether to get Steven Slate drums as well. Now, if it dropped all the way down to like $89 for both of them, then yeah, I go, I'm, I mean, it's $20 more than buying one of the plugins for normal price. It's not going to drop that m much, I'm assuming. Um, so I was trying to figure out, I was like, well, I, I mean, I have, I've sampled these symbols before multiple times. I mean, like with multiple hits and everything, Joey Sturgis has a bunch of symbol packs. I have some symbol packs. The reason has some decent symbols in them. You know, so I was sort of like, you know, do I really need is it because it ends up being the symbols because I don't have an e-drum kit. I'm not using triggers. So, <clears throat> and then, Trigger, the the platinum version of Trigger has a ton of samples, a ton of amazing samples. I was like, I feel like there need there should be another way. Like, I don't, I shouldn't have to buy Steven Slate drums and Trigger. Because I was thinking, I was like, well, Jordan, if you want to play all the drums, you know, like on your keyboard when it's like super late at night, you're going to have to use Steven Slate drums. And then I was like, ah, oh, but then I'm going to have to. So then think about it this way. So then I'm going to have to, in the next session, I'm going to have to tweak everything. So I'm, I'm going to record live drums now. So now I'm going to have to, I've been programming everything in, in Steven Slate drums. So now I'm going to have to redo everything in Trigger. And I was, it was just really like, oh man, that just sucks. And I was just like, I feel like this isn't necessary. It isn't. And the reason why, now I'm using Reason. A lot of you may not be using Reason at all. You might be saying, what the heck is this? Well, this is a Reason video. So I'm going to be showing people who might have Steven Slate Trigger, might have Steven Slate Drums, and have Reason. This is a way that you can actually get Trigger to, in real time, in real time, operate like any other VST. And let me show you how. Um, and I'm actually just going to do, I've already got it set up here. And just to show you that it works... I'm just playing that on my keyboard here. Um, that's it in complete real time. And I will show you um, how to how to set this up. And uh, it's actually dead simple. So basically all you do is um, set up a Kong unit <clears throat> or whatever you, you want. The reason why I say the Kong unit, you can use NXTs and NXTs. <laughs> NXTs, I've been watching a bunch of wrestling. You can use NXTs, but... Uh, the Kong is a little easier for routing purposes. So basically all you're going to do is, um, and we don't have to set up a full kit here, but I'm just going to grab, um, I'm going to go grab one of these metal kits. Since this already has symbols that work. Um, let's do, I think I like the rock kit classic. I'm pretty sure. Let's use that. So on its own, Not bad. I mean, that snare's that snare's actually really poppy, but the kick sucks. So what we're actually going to do is we're immediately before we do before we do anything else, we're going to change all of our outputs to what we actually want them to be. So <clears throat> trigger obviously doesn't have any symbols. It's only going to have kicks, snares, and toms. So really, the only things that we have to reroute are the kicks, the snares, and the toms. For this demonstration, I'm only going to route the kick and the snare because there's no reason to go through every tom in the world. And there are no toms that come in the demo version. I'm still waiting on, on the full version uh, until Black Friday. So <clears throat> we've got our bass drum. We're going to flip around the um, we're going to flip around the rack. I'm going to make two new mix channels. One is going to be called snare or the oh, wall. Well, start with I'm supposed to start with and then snare. It is time for a new mic stand, I swear. There we go. Much better. Okay. So we got our kick and snare set here, and then I'm just going to make this three and four. I'm going to make this five and six. Um, <clears throat> so from there, 
we're basically ready to go. All I have to do here is just go three and four and five and six. So now you'll see down here they're being triggered. So there's already a ton of reverb on these. That's going to mess with the triggering with the trigger plugin, and I'll show you why in just a minute. So I'm going to grab an instance. Actually going to be grabbing why did I spell it so horribly wrong? Uh, I'm going to grab a couple of instances of trigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it as effects inserts right on the track. <laughs> I'm going to place them as effects inserts right on the track. Here we go. Perfect. Going to open it up. And since this is a demo version, I have to go through all my, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then finally navigate to trigger demo. I'm in the trigger demo. I like kick 11. Um, I'm going to use the um, uh, SSDR version, whatever. And I'm also going to do this. Turn the volume down a little bit. We're not trying to mix or do anything like that. But you'll notice, check it out. I'm actually going to pull that down. Man, that's loud. Oh right, no, we don't want we don't want the we don't want this one. We want this. There we go. There's the clean one. There's the one everyone knows and loves. Cool. But you'll notice we're getting clean signals, baby. Um, and depending on what initial kick you use, you want to try to find. And Reason has a ton of of acoustic kick samples. You want to find one that is not really that ringy, and you'll notice when I hit it, see all that other little junk in there? That can cause re-triggering issues. I haven't messed with any of the, sen the sensitivity, the re-trigger, the detail, anything. So what we can do is under bass drum, I can just pull um, the decay. Actually, I want to keep this up and open. Um, pull the decay down. You notice those quiet ones, those quiet ones aren't really getting through, so we'll have to turn the detail down. So I turned the compressor off. There was a compressor that was acting pretty hard. We can actually turn the input sensitivity up just a little. And all the dynamics and everything work because it's it's still trigger. So that's basically all you have to do. Same thing with the snare. We've already have we already have the snare set up. So I'm just gonna go in to my trigger directory, open up snare eleven, because snare eleven is nice. And I'll put the whatever this direct I think it is I don't know if it's directional room or what the heck it's called. So there we go. I hear, see, there's a lot of gubbins at the end there. So let's, uh, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to, I'm going to reopen this and keep it open. <clears throat> see, so it's not catching those. So we're going to pull it down a little more. And we are set. Now you might be saying to yourself, okay, that's great. But if you look at the mix channel here, um, there, so I have all of these. This is from a previous try, like playthrough of this. Um, <clears throat> so I can still, still play those. Um, and the latency is fine. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so you'll notice that I don't have anything to mix here. I have them to mix in the mixer here, so that's fine, but I don't have anything here. So let's just program something super, super quick. I don't have my, my pad out, but I can use my keyboard. 
Oh, Lord. See, so people wonder why I don't like Reason's drum kits right out of the gate. Don't even use a general MIDI mapping. This is freaking ridiculous. Let's program something for real. Cancel that um, initial. There we go. All right, and we'll quantize it just for the heck of it. There we go. So, but you'll but you'll notice that if I want because a lot of people want to use trigger and then have printed audio, all you have to do same thing applies as as always applies in Reason. You can right click, bounce in place, boom. There you go, and then this is the symbol with some nasty low end in it. Let me add. But then we got the, the snare. And the kick. There we go. And then the whole thing. And my DSP is at nothing. I I'm ecstatic because that means now that I can I can have a whole thing set up. I can I can tweak these kicks to my heart's content and everything. I can have it all set up. Um and then really, you know, I mean I and then I can I can I can't say my presets in the demo version of trigger, but then I can I no longer need Steven Slate drums at that point. I mean, like I said, Joey Sturgis has a bunch of symbols. Um they're uh, they're um I mean, there's just a lot of places to get symbols, okay? You know, so and then I can uh, throw those in into this Kong, for example, and I, I can make my own custom Kong already set up. I do have my uh, my own custom Kong with all of my samples, all of my symbol samples from this kit. So this is this is really to me this is really awesome to be able to no longer have to be tied down to either Steven Slate drums or Trigger. Now I'm not saying don't get Steven Slate drums as well because they do have some great symbols. They have a bunch of kits. Now, Trigger has, I, th I think Trigger Platinum has all of the same drums, if not more. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but this is bomb. To me, this is bomb uh, to no longer have to duplicate things because I, I was, like I said, I was afraid that I was going to program everything in, in, in Steven Slate drums. And then when I went to go over here, I was going to have to try to reduplicate everything in trigger and I, and because you can't go back and forth, I was going to be so mad if that's what I was going to have to do. And all of the, all of the tweaking of the, 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 uh, the decay and the sustain and release and all that stuff, I was going to be really annoyed. So this is totally a great workaround. And, you know, and then, like I said, to be able to offline everything and still have the audio is really, is really, is really incredible. So thank you so much for watching. I'm super, I'm, I'm soaked. I'm, I'm soaked. I'm stoked. I'm also very tired. I have had almost no caffeine today, but excellent. Thank you so much for watching and take care.